Hello, I'm Harriet Muller, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a lion's head. Now, I've had loads of requests for this one, so what you're going to need is some plain white paper, a black pen, a pencil, and a rubber. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off in the usual way with a circle in the middle. Remember, this never has to be perfect, so just a rough circle kind of shape like that. There we go. We're going to draw, it, draw a line, rather. <laughs> draw a line across the middle, and then a line across the middle again. And then also we're going to cut it into quarters. So a line in the middle of this part of the circle, and a line in the middle of this part of the circle. Now, in between the top and the um, diameter line there, we're going to be drawing a line, not exactly halfway, that would be halfway, just a little bit under. So just draw a rough line just a little way under. Remember, don't press as hard as I am. I'm just doing this so that you can see this. Okay, so next we're going to be drawing the eyes. So where this line crosses that line, just underneath it, we're going to be drawing a round circle, like that. And the same on the other line, where this line crosses that line, we're going to be doing another circle. So there we go. Now, draw a straight line from there to there. On either side of that line, draw like a bracket shape. So one on that side, and one on this side. Just rounded lines like this. Great. Now we're going to be drawing an upside down triangle shape for the nose. Bring the line down and we'll do the lion's mouth like that. And then the chin. Remember we're gonna go over this in pen, we're gonna make it look more realistic, but this is just the basic outline, just so that you've got something there. Okay, so next, we're going to make these eyes look a little bit more like um, cat eyes. So let's make them a little bit more feline shape by doing lines like that. And the same on the other side. A line like that. And just bring a line coming down to the center line diagonally like that and the same on the other side. And then a line coming out like that and one on the other side. There we go. Now we're going to be doing the lion's head. So just above the top of the circle, starting about there, just bring a shape coming round like that and then joining in there. And the same on the other side. Coming out like that and coming round. Now we're going to be doing the lion's mane. We're going to be doing an upside down drop shape. Now I'm gonna show you what that means because I don't know if I've explained it very well. So, a big shape, like an upside down drop. Do you see where I'm going with this? There we go. So that's going to be the lion's mane. Excellent. So now we're going to do the rest in pen. Okay, so now using your black pen, we're going to be adding all the details. So we need to make this nose a little bit more realistic. So we're gonna add a line coming up there and a line coming up there. And then the nose actually comes round like so. There we go. Make it quite thick and black. There we go. And then don't forget the big nostrils. Like this. And like that. Draw a little line up the middle. There we go. That looks a bit more realistic now. And then with the line coming down, make it thicker and more black. And then Actually, we're gonna make this mouth come round a little bit more like that. And the same on the other side. And then we're gonna draw lots of lines coming down like this to make the mouth. Can you see that? There we go. And then coming round, I'm gonna draw one line going up like that. And the same on the other side. Try and get it symmetrical. 
I know it's really difficult, I don't think I've got it entirely symmetrical, but you can try. And then for the chin, I'm going to draw lots of little lines coming down like this. I've got a very furry chin, just like that. There we go. And then now the eyes. So following this line, we're going to make them just slightly bigger than I drew them before. So just draw the circle and then kind of a pupil with a glint in it. Let's do the feline shape. Goes round, comes out at the side, and comes round again, just like that. See, it's taking shape now, and then the same on the other side. And there we go. I've got to make sure that they're exactly the same on either side, so keep on looking. What I should have done is to do the left hand one first and then do the right one one second because I'm right handed and I would have been able to see it better. But never mind, you live and learn. And then I'll do the same, I'll do a little glint at the top. There we go. Yep, almost the same. Then you draw this line coming down and then this line coming a bit further down like that and the same on the other side. There we go, it's taking shape now, isn't it? Okay, so the whiskers. So just do a series of dots in lines like this. And the same on the other side. There we go. And some whiskers coming out. Doesn't matter where you put them. Lots and lots of whiskers. There we go. Now the face shape. Let's just draw lots of kind of long lines just to show where the face is just coming out like this just like that and then just coming in a little bit like so and the same on the other side there we go coming around it's got kind of some tufts of fur sticking out the sides. Right, now the mane. This is where you can go wild. Yeah, no pun intended. Um, okay, so just draw loads of really long lines like so. As many as you want. You could spend all day doing the mane, but we're just going to do a series of very long lines just so that it gives the impression of a big full mane. Just follow this upside down drop shape. Okay, coming all the way down and the same on the other side. Okay, it can be really messy, really wild, just go for it. Loads and loads of um, pen lines all the way down, all the way coming down like so. Wow, that's really taking shape now. If you want, you can do a little bit under here, make it a little bit darker, just show the shadow underneath the chin. You can do it a little bit like that. And you can just keep on going, adding more and more fur um, all the way around. And there is your lion's head. I could just keep on going on and on with this mane, so I'm gonna stop there. Okay, excellent. Oh, I'm just going to add just a little furrow just around the brow area, just like that. It kind of looks a little bit more menacing. There we go. Excellent. So here's the finished lion's head. All that I've done is I've rubbed out all the pencil lines and I've added two little lines underneath the lion's eyes just to make the eyes pop out a little bit more, make them more pronounced. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please feel free to subscribe and like, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you, bye.